Tommy, not the result we wanted on Tuesday, but now, you know, that raw emotion after full time has gone. What, what are your thoughts after that one? Very much the same. I mean, look, I always look back at the, the stats that on the report of the game, um, and I was really comfortable with the way that we approached the game, uh, the manner in which we tried to fend off what they had as, a, as an attack and threat, and we did for the most part. I mean, you know, it, the stats do tell you we ended their final third and their box had more chances than them, much more possession than them. So in a way, the, the, the blueprint of the game didn't actually end up the way the scoreline did. And I, think I, as a manager, I've got to take that. I'm not saying that's an excuse because ultimately the, the only stat that counts is that they scored two goals and we didn't. But I think the, the goals we conceded, not just them two, um, a couple of the goals against all of them, are certainly preventable. So, you know, I'm not going to throw the baby out with the bathwater, as it were. Um, I'm going to stick to what I, I know is right for this group. Um, and the group have had, we've had really good discussions since Tuesday night, a couple of really good training sessions, and we're looking forward to, to putting that one behind us and, and being back at the EBB and having York City as the visitors. Exactly, as you say there, we are back at the EBB stadium, which, you know, when we're the home side, it, it maybe creates a few more chances for us. There'll be a bit more opening. So, mm. you know, we saw that definitely against Oxford with the five goals. So are we going to go out there and look to, to get at them? Absolutely. Like I said, you know, on coming into the players, I want to have an identity as a football team and football club, particularly at home. You know, I wanted to make a difficult, I want to make it a difficult place for teams to come and play. So, you know, that, that hasn't changed. We've only had one game at home this season. Um, and we, we performed admirably. What I will say to you is, <laughs> again, look at, looking at the, the absolute nuts and bolts of each of the three games, where performance levels actually gone up, but where, but where results haven't been equal to the performance. And that happens sometimes, you know. People talk about all sorts of different metrics these days. At the end of the day, come Saturday at 5.15, you know, or whatever the time we get finished these days, it's all about the, the goals column. And we want to we wanna try and score more goals than the team that we're playing against. And we've done it once this season. We're looking at a hope to add to that this weekend. If we can't, we move on to the next game. But results are a motive thing, you know, particularly with fans. Fans are high as a kite when you win and they're lower than a snake's belly when you lose. I can't be like that. So you're not going to get me dooming and glooming when we lost with if we lose another game. And you're not going to get me jumping off the rafters if and when we win another game. So from that point of view, that's just the way I hit well, I spoke to AJ obviously after the game. He was very level-headed and said, you know, they, they all want to improve. All the lads mm. want to improve. Have you, have you seen a, a sign of that in training this week? Yeah, I've said this before. I said in the program notes, they're a coachable group. They're, they're a young group on the whole. I mean, there's not there's not that many of them thirty plus, if any. So Stu is the only one that comes to mind. So look, we, we, they work really hard. I, I think they listen. Um, the proof's in the pudding. Come Saturday. We saw Tyler Frost perform very well in, in that position that he took over from Josh Stokes. Obviously, Josh Stokes will be really trying to get back in the side. And, and you know, is that, is that a bit of a selection headache for you then? Well, it's a good headache. Um, I've had that from the beginning. Really, once the pre-season started panning out and we got, went through the games, each of the different um, combinations that we put together actually worked quite well for us. So it's nice as a manager to have the, the opportunity to rest people, to give people an opportunity, whether it's from the bench or from the start. Well, you've got to remember, what is it? We're three games into a minimum 46 game season. You know, and the way that the extra that added time is going at the minute, it's, the, the, the minutes are going to be there for everybody. So I know people want to see certain players and mm -hmm. I'm not picking them at the moment. There's all sorts of reasons for that. That will never get disclosed outside this building. So from that point of view, that, that's what my job is. It's to deal with, Every single individual in the in the building, I want the best for them. If that means them starting and them playing apart from the beginning, then so be it. If it means them coming off the bench, Tyler Frost is a great example. He's done both. He's started and he's come off the bench and been really positive. As of most of the substitutions we've made, to be honest with you. Um, but I will say that every single player, in my opinion, is pulling in the same direction, and we just want, as there was in the first game of the season, everybody at the ABB to do the same. Oh, we saw Tommy Willard missing from the squad. Mm. Well, that was a fitness issue, wasn't it? Can you yeah, give us a, a bit couple, more? Yeah. There's him and Theo carrying little niggles more than injuries. So, you know, they, they're going to be present and not present on occasions. And again, it's, it's great from my point of view that we've got in the background people like Ryan Glover, Tyler Frost, uh, Henry Ochieng, Ethan Burnett, chomping at the bit, Ollie Scott now. You know, there's room for me to move. And we've got, listen, we've got a game this Saturday. Then we've got two games in almost 48 hours mm. the following week. So... Undoubtedly, I'm, I'm sure that the team will change in them three games, so you might see new faces in the next next couple of weeks.